John chapter 10, beginning in verse 31, it says that once more the Jews lifted up stones to stone him, that is Jesus. And Jesus replied to them, I displayed to you many fine works from the Father. For which of those works are you stoning me? The Jews answered him, We are stoning you not for a fine work, but for blasphemy, because you, although being a man, make yourself theos, which can be translated either God or a God. The New World Translation and several other Bibles, including the New English Bible, translated a God, some God. Let's go with the translation God, capital G-O-D. You, although being a man, make yourself God, capital G-O-D. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? I said, you are gods. If he called gods those against whom the word of God came, and yet the scripture cannot be nullified, do you say to me whom the Father dis sanctified and dispatched into the world, you blaspheme because I said I am God's son? Now think about this just for a moment. If the Jews accused Jesus of claiming to be God, capital G-O-D, which most modern translations would have you believe, what's the point of him referring to Psalm 82 and a reference to others as gods? How does that help his argument one bit? It doesn't at all. Yeah, he said it doesn't help the argument, but here's the truth about it, is that these individuals were showing hypocrisy they are showing hypocrisy, just like they did when Jesus and his disciples were going through the grain fields plucking corn, which is something that they were allowed to do because they were plucking it with their hands and eating. And they are accusing them of doing something wrong, where here, again, the Jews are accusing Jesus of doing something wrong. And Jesus is being accused of blasphemy for saying that he shares in the same nature as his father, which he is claiming to be God here, sharing the same nature as his father. So Jesus references an Old Testament passage and where they reference the ones to whom the word of God came would have been rulers in Israel that they acted as God executing judgments. But Jesus properly wore that title, not because the word of God came to him, but because he came from heaven and shared in the same nature as his father. So it makes complete sense. And it should not be translated as Jesus was being referenced as a God, lowercase g, because Jesus is not even fitting that same category is Psalm 82, to whom the word of God came. Jesus is the word of God who came. There's a difference. The word of God did not come to Jesus. Jesus is the word of God that came from heaven. So Jesus is not applying that title to himself the same way that it's applied to mere humans to whom the word of God came in Psalm 82. So Jehovah Witnesses, this one's not for you.